Hey, there's Mark. You might have seen this snippet video that I had published. It was called Impaled. I had driven this Soul Air, not Soul Air, this isn't Soul Air. This is 24 hours, and when I launched off the ramp, the car got impaled on the track. I decided to delete the track, and I actually deleted everything. But it's not because of this. It's because the track had too many shortcuts that I could not overcome. I didn't realize that I had kept this video file, so I thought I could show you how I made my mistakes and what I was trying to do to fix them. I turned around and just made a whole new track. Now that's a separate video. You've probably seen it in the garage, Ski Ball Tubes. That's the final version. This preview actually doesn't show the tubes, but I'm thankful that it does show the machine behind the tubes. Here's what the tubes look like in the final version. The garage was a much better location for this track. I was allowed more units to track build. Plus I made it four tubes instead of only three. I made a separate video showing all four routes. So we're just gonna cut it right here. Thankfully, I did record the map of the original track. Basically, the top tube is gonna have the shortest or quickest way back to the start. And then each subsequent level downward, you know, it should be a little bit slower, you know, because you should be rewarded for hitting the top tube. I'm going to let all of these previews play just for posterity's sake. I don't think it showed the tubes in this one either. My main mistake was trying to fit something so complex into a room as small as the basement. And especially with the tubes being so big, there really wasn't enough room for checkpoints. It's hard to see, but I did have one all the way in the bottom right corner. That would basically be to the left of the starting gate. You can't see it here, but it would be over to the left. And since that was the only checkpoint, people could use bazooka, hop over the rail, and just hit the checkpoint. After I recorded this race, I did edit the track and add a piece of orange track like a barrier, and it did not help. This original concept, instead of having four tubes, it had three, but I had a reject lane on the bottom to where if you missed the tubes, you fell into like these reject lanes. And then you just hopped on over here and you would head back up the return. Since this would be the lowest target, I want it to be the slowest, right? Because the higher tubes are supposed to be the faster ones. So I used magnetic track. And because of that, it should be the slowest route. Here's where I joined the return with another one of the paths. This turned out to be actually the problem. Because I had split paths coming back, it made it too tricky for me to use checkpoints. And there's the only checkpoint I had. Let's see, 49 seconds. That's the slowest or lowest path. You see, I had two tracks here. This way, if you fell to the left or right. There is one little shortcut right here. I intended this. You can cut the curve. I don't recall if I tested the time, but I did build in another shortcut. You can fall off the edge of the track here, cut off this hairpin turn, and I did try to hide the checkpoint under the track. That was a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and move up. Hit the third tube. I made it a little tricky. Up here on the curve, I took off the sidewall, so you might fall off the edge. But really, the reason I did that is because of shortcuts, and I'll talk about that. Ah, see, there you go, a little bit faster. That's the point. Let me do this path again so I can show you what the problem is with the shortcutting. If you look above, you can see a pair of magnetic track. You only drive on one. The other one is actually a barrier to try to keep you off the magnetic track because people could fly off of the start, land on the back side of the magnetic track, and then push reset and it would pop them on the front side the side you're supposed to be driving on so you basically just shortcut the whole tube when I get back around to the starting line I'll show you the pieces of track that I used to try to block shortcutting
So when you look far to the right, two magnetic tracks. If you fall on one, it'll zap you on the other side of the magnetic track, which is a dead lane. You you try to drive off it, and you'll just fall off. You're not. It's not part of the track. On the left side, that orange track, that's barrier as well. If you land on it, same thing. You can actually drive on it up there, but you have no way to drive on that track to get back on the official track. Basically, it's a setup. If you try to get up there, you're going to get stuck. Now we're on the number two tube and right here, this charge strip. You might think, oh, thank you for the charge strip. This way I can get around the track faster. Actually, it was a secret shortcut. You can sit on it, charge up your car, turn around and come back out the tube and then shortcut the track. I built that one into the track on purpose. But when people can take bazooka and just hop over the lane, it kills everything. Well, it would have been a faster lap if I didn't crash. Let me give the number two tube a proper race. See if I could beat that 41, 374. Trying to beat 41, and we have 40. Okay, off to the top. Doom! Ultra vest. But check this out. Yeah, sometimes you can land on a tube, and it puts you inside the tube. Those are things I learned because this is the first track that I did with tubes coming up. That orange track right there, that's a blocker track, remember? That's not an actual track that you're supposed to drive on. I crashed twice, so I'm not going to have the record time. Let's give it a go. Oi, so sloppy. Let me show you the shortcut I was talking about. You can launch off of the ramp, and unfortunately, you can reach the tracks that are on the right side. So if you were successful, you can land on one of those lanes and just shortcut the tubes. There were so many problems with this track, I just deleted it. I'm starting a new series talking about checkpoints. This video will be in that playlist, but it really is going to have a different theme very soon. You can check out my custom tracks in my custom tracks playlist. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you on the track. Bye-bye.